Thank you. Amen. We are truly give honor to God, who is first and foremost in my life, to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to my wife, Pastor Anderson, who's just joining me now. Amen. We yeah. celebrate you in, with Jesus' love and Jesus' joy, saying that God is good and he's always worthy to be praised. Um, we had started recording on yesterday, but we had technical difficulties. Um, so we decided to pre-record to re-record again. But before we go into the word of God on this evening, we're going to um, bow our hearts in the word of prayer. We ask our, my wife to pray. Precious Emma, God, we do thank you for this opportunity to give out your word. We pray, God, that you will open the ears and the hearts of the people to hear. Lord, people in through the streaming, Lord, to hear what you have to say. Speak to our ears and our heart and our mind. Lord, give us what to say. Bind the enemy that will come in and hinder, Lord God. Let your word have a free course in the name of Jesus. You said you're going to send it out and it shall not return to you void, but accomplish what you send it out to do. We bless you, man. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we, on this month, it's, it's ironic, ironic that my subject on the day is talking about women of the Bible. Ironic. Yeah. Ironic. In mm -hmm. the Old and New Testament, and it's like women month, and they have a group that they talk about of 50 women, 50 successful women. But this was laid on my heart to talk about the women of the Bible. When the uh, other day, one of the senators asked the um, Supreme Justice candidate, what was a woman and basically she said she didn't know and it was like a politically correct question that that she answered she didn't know because she didn't really know the definition that they were looking for and um because in the society we live in you have men that are being trans transvestite becoming women so it's a lot of i guess a lot of legal uh, jungle or uh, jingles or whatever mm -hmm. Hoopla. <laughs> <laughs> Hoopla. Mm -hmm. Shenanigans that's going on in the world in which we live today. Mm -hmm. But um, like I first said, God laid on my heart to talk about the women in the Bible. So when I thought about the definition for women in the Bible, I went to the Bible, women, because it was God who created uh, the heavens and the earth. It was God who created man and female. It was God who created the, uh, who instituted the the, the marriage, the family. So in Genesis, the second chapter, the 23rd verse, and this is what the Lord said. And Adam said, this is now, this is what Adam said. And now, and Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Mm -hmm. So that's the definition for a woman. A woman is basically the womb of a man. Because God, when he had created man, he created man in his own image and in his own likeness. And he gave man authority and autonomy to name all the creatures upon the face of the earth. But the Bible tells us for man, there was nobody. You know, he, he, he couldn't communicate with, the, with any other animal. So God made him a helpmate. And what God did, he put man to sleep. And in his anesthesiology, that the first sleep in the garden, I guess, in, mm -hmm. in, in creation. And from man's rib, he, from man's body, he took a rib. And from that rib, he formed the woman. Then he presented the woman to the man as a gift. You know, someone to be a helpmate to him. Yeah, help me. Yeah. To help me to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And when Adam seen her, he said, this is flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. it comes, she comes from me. And the Bible said, the two shall become one. Mm -hmm. And he said, and she shall be called woman, basically the womb of a man. Then in Genesis, the third chapter, in, 20, in the 21st, in the 20th verse, and Adam, he called his wife. This is the first time the Bible named that, the wife in the Bible, the, the, the title of wife. Mm -hmm. So the, husband, the man is supposed to be married to a wife. Not a man to a man or a woman to a woman, but God, he set the order in the book of Genesis, the book of the beginning. So Adam, he called his wife named Eve, and the reason he called her Eve, because the Bible says she was the mother of all living. So, 
right now you basically have what I have given you the definition for what God says a woman is. A woman is the womb of a man, and a woman is meant to be the wife of a man, not the wife of, a, of another woman, but the wife of a man. Then also the other responsibilities for a woman, she has great awesome responsibilities. I have realized as I have gotten older, I have gotten, I guess, a little bit wiser, women are strong. Mm -hmm. They can take a lot of pain, a, a lot, and they, they carry a lot of weight. They take care of a home and in a society in which we live today, they going out and making the money, cooking the bacon, and, and also serving and plus taking care of the family. So when I look at this, these strong women that's in the world, it's, it's just amazing to me. Um, someone has said one time that God made man, then when he went to perfection, he gave him a woman. And, and, and I can understand that because the woman, it seems like the woman, she, when she thinks, she thinks in detail. A man, and I'm a man, I think in broad strokes, but a woman, she, she looks at the integral parts of a situation. When she, when she paints a picture, she's painting a picture with excellence. So when we talk about the women in the Bible, this is the first woman, Mother Eve, because she was the mother of all living. The Bible also tells us about the women. We're going to talk about good women and bad women. This is like a little series, maybe go two or three, two or three sessions. But the Bible tells us that Eve, when she was in the Garden of Eden, God gave Adam the command to not to take of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that's in the midst of the garden, nor to eat of it, nor to look at it, nor to touch it. But Eve, somehow she, she wandered away from her cover, which is Adam, and that's what a man's supposed to be for a, a, a woman, for a wife. He's supposed to be her covering. My wife all time said this, um, we've been married 46 years this past Valentine's Day, and she said her, my responsibility is to make her happy, and her responsibility is to make me happy, and when we make each other happy, what, that, what does that do? That makes God, God happy. Because God, he's the one that instituted marriage. He's the one that brought Eve to Adam. He's the one that created man in his image and in his likeness. Then from there, as I foresaid, Eve, she strayed away from her covering, and she was beguiled by the enemy to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And she ate it because she seen that the tree was good for fruit, the tree mm -hmm. was a good tree to look at. And these are the temptations that the enemy basically used to tempt us, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. If she didn't have no eyes, she couldn't see the tree. Mm -hmm. But when we see things, because the Bible says that the eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear <laughs> with hearing, because she heard what the devil, what Satan was saying to her, saying uh, the biggest lie that God don't want you to be like him. Mm -hmm. You know, this is why God don't want you to touch the tree of the knowledge to go to evil. But the reason that God gave that command to Adam, because he said the day you eat of that tree, you're going to surely die. So God was warning Adam not to take of the tree of the knowledge to go to evil. I don't know why the tree was placed in the garden of evil. I don't know why God allowed that tree to be placed in a perfect place. But God made man free will beings. Free, free, free will mm -hmm. beings. You know, he, we're after his image and his likeness. So we had a choice. And the Bible says that Eve was beguiled. She was deceived. Mm -hmm. But Adam knew better. So this is where basically we're going to have our springboard from, talking about the first woman that God created, when you say, when that you, God gave to, um, to Adam. When you say Adam knew better, you're saying that Adam got the, the commandment was given to him. Right. And not to eat of. So he blatantly disobeyed God. But right. Eve was more beguiled because of their looking at the tree. She shouldn't have been over there looking at it in the first place. But because but women, women like women are shopping. Yeah, well, that's true, too. <laughs> I believe that's true. Like, um, but um, it, it's, it's like, okay, he was disobedient and she was beguiled. Right. So, you know, it's like they both had a part in it. Because I believe in my heart of hearts, I'm not saying the scripture stated that, but if, if Adam had not 
get taken up the fruit from the wife, from his wife Eve, it, God would have gave, made him another wife. But, you know, sometimes, you know, love is blind. <laughs> but God gave us free will uh, because he don't want no robot. No, he doesn't. You know, he wants obedient. He wants you to be willing. If you're willing and obedient, then you will eat the what? The good of the land. land. So, right. you know. So, the women, some of the women that, I, that came to my mind was Eve, the first woman. Her responsibility was to be a help me to her husband, which was which is Adam. Then she was they were they were to be fruitful, to multiply, and to replenish the earth, to have dominion upon the whole earth. That was God's plan for Adam and Eve. But in order to procreate, they had to become one flesh in order to have to bear children, to bring forth children in the world. And this is what Eve brought into the world. This is what Adam and Eve brought into the world. They brought sin into the world. Mm -hmm. They brought death and destruction mm -hmm. into the world. That's what was birthed out of Eve. Out of being disobedient. Out of being disobedient mm -hmm. unto God. Then when I then when I thought about women, you know, like, like as I first said, God cursed man. He said you're going to work from the sweat of your brow. You know, He told the woman you're going to bear your children. In, in pain, and you're going to be subject to the to, to the man. Basically, that was the curse that God placed upon um, Adam and Eve. But but look at God throughout the throughout the Bible, the 66 books of the Bible. God always used women, always used women, and that's what attracted my attention. And 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 when I when I begin to to, to meditate upon it. I thought about the first woman brought sin into the world. Mm -hmm. The second woman, which was Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, brought life into the world. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, I come that you might have life mm -hmm. and that you might have it more abundantly. The first woman, Adam and Eve, they brought death into the world. But And they called, Ad, what did they call Jesus? They called Jesus the second Adam. Mm -hmm. All right. And Mary was the second Eve. Mm -hmm. And she's the one that brought life into the world because Jesus, the, the Holy Spirit, put this put the seed, God's seed into the woman, into a virgin, and she brought forth Jesus Christ. For Matthew 121 says, Thou shalt have a son, mm -hmm. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Uh, Emmanuel, God with us. Mm -hmm. So God has a plan that be all this that's mighty sweet. And 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 he like Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil mm -hmm. to bring you to your expected end. He knew what Satan was going to do in that garden. Mm -hmm. But in Genesis 3:15, this is what God said: the seed of the woman will bruise the head. Of the serpent, and the head of the serpent will bruise the heel of the, the 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 seed of the woman. Check this out: a woman don't really have a seed. The seed comes from a man, but the seed that he was talking about was Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. and she became Mother Earth, Eve. She was able to birth the, the uh, Mary, Mary. That that second Adam, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the seed of the woman, and who placed that seed in that woman? The Holy Ghost. Um, Bishop, um, in the Psalms, uh, it says, um, No, I come in the volume of the book. It is written to me to do thy will, O God. So in, in Psalms, Jesus was always in the beginning of time. Right. Even in the beginning when um, when God looked out on the world before there was a when or a where. And, and he said, let us make man in our own image. Right. And then all that it. thing. So, so Jesus was always there, but his life, his flesh and blood didn't come to, to until Mary, because he came, became flesh for us, so, so he can, for the sins of the whole world. Right. I, I think about that, how that God had a plan way back when, 
to redeem man. You hear something? I know I come in the Bible, but it was written to me to do thy will. The Bible also says that how Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, before the, like before there was a where or when, mm -hmm. there was Christ. But in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. He He is part of the, He is the Godhead. Mm -hmm. Part of the Godhead, yeah. yeah. So the Bible also led us to go to be lovers to all those individuals that believe that God won't use women. You haven't read your Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that we become one. There's neither male nor female um, in the body of Christ. We become one. The man is not without the woman, and the woman is not without the man mm -hmm. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So yeah. God made us one. You know. Although we both have duties, different duties. Right. By you being a man, God made you strong physically. You know, and, I, and I'm your help me as far as being um a woman, but it's not that don't make me less than, uh, or uh, don't have a, a same capacity of my brain or the same. Um, I can be whatever you can be. Only thing I don't have the strength to do the the oxen work, the strong work. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why you have mm -hmm. to. That's why you have to uh, uh, till the ground right. to the sweat of your brow. You know, them, it's hard to till the ground, pulling out them them dead weeds and cultivating and turning over the dirt. That's hard work. You know, and, mm -hmm. and this is not to be male or male chauvinist. That's right. saying what you said. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm tilling the ground so it can bring forth food, so that you can cook it, That's right. so that we can eat. So we working together. So we working Basically, together. We're, we're in this thing together. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, what, so I'm talking about the the women of the Bible, and there's neither male nor female well, in Christ Jesus. We still have Jesus. places. That's we have right, right. I'm 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 through my covering. I'm under you. You know, I have to. Uh, not totally uh, per se obey as you would say oh um, whatever you say I'm going to obey we yeah. can talk about what we need to talk about as me being the woman you know we can talk about it at, but the last say if we can't come to agreement do I have to bow up say, okay you, whatever you say bishop the bible says this that um, that the husband ought to love his wife wow. even as Christ loved the church mm -hmm. and gave himself for it and the woman ought to ought to reverence her husband. Mm -hmm. That's basically in, in a person that reverence you is one really that's going to love you. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's still it's mm -hmm. still intertwining. You know, mm -hmm. how can two walk together? The Bible says unless there be an agreement. And, and, and what God has put together, let no man put asunder. So as I was saying, God uses women, and He's been using women from the very from, beginning. From the, from from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. What did he call Israel? He called Israel her. Her bride. His yeah, bride. What, 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 is, what, what is his earth? Her, right. Has, he's coming back for a bride mm -hmm. without a spot or wrinkle or any such thing. What do we call the earth? We call earth mother earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so God is definitely not prejudiced against a woman like some of these so-called um, female bachelor, bachelors are where they don't see that God can use women. And even when you look at the uh, the women in the Bible, I, I think about Mary Magdalene, mm -hmm. you know, how she delivered the first gospel message when Jesus was mm -hmm. resurrected from the dead. While the men was in the house hiding because of fear of the Jews, for, for fear of being persecuted, it was in her mind's mind, I'm going down to anoint the body of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And when they went, my wife brought this out on, on yesterday uh, about the stone mm -hmm. <laughs> that had to be removed. You know, the stone was a big stone. Mm -hmm. It was sealed by the Roman government, mm -hmm. but they didn't let the obstacle get in their way. Mm -hmm. It was like, I think about that when we get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but they, they, had had it, <laughs> they had in their mind, mind that stone is going to be removed mm -hmm. because we're going to anoint the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And how did God... Move, roll away the stone. He sent two angels mm -hmm. to roll away the stone. The Bible said, and they sat upon it, talking about the angels. Mm -hmm. Then when they came to see Jesus at the tomb, they said, why seek ye the living amongst the dead? He is risen. He is Hallelujah. not here. Hallelujah. But this is the, uh, the resurrection season that we're going into. Mm -hmm. You know, so then from there, that same Mary, Mary, Mary Magdalene, as she was sorrowful in her heart that Jesus wasn't there, Jesus appeared unto her 
and she thought he was a gardener. And Jesus said to her, Mary, and when she heard the words, she said, Rabona, mm -hmm. and she go to worship him, to touch him. And he said, touch me not, but I have not risen to my God, my mm -hmm. father, and, and, ascended, and yes. to your God, mm -hmm. and my, to my God and your God. But then he gave her an assignment. Mm -hmm. Go tell my disciples mm -hmm. and Peter to meet me in Galilee. Who mm -hmm. said that God doesn't use women? And it's just funny because he said, go tell my disciples. He said, go. Right. Tell my go. That's the commission. But that's the same calling that he called me. He called. He told me to go. And that's all I heard for days. I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. And eventually he revealed to me and he started saying, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Now he's telling her to go tell my disciples. Right. To go tell my disciples. They, these people are all they already was his disciple. Right. But but then there's a broader spectrum of going into all the world. And he told the disciples to go into all the world. Teach all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father. So he sent out the woman to the men. To the men. He had twelve disciples, men. And he sent the woman to but twelve. That time he was said, 11. Yeah, because Judas, yeah, Judas Peter said, yeah. Did he sent a, he sent out a woman, which is a not the order that it was supposed to go in per se, as people said. You don't send a woman to a man. A man ain't supposed to, a woman ain't supposed to be in a man's face. A man a woman is less than. I don't know where they get all that uh from, but here I, I know God can use a crow. Um and he can use a donkey. He can use anybody. He can use a rock. He said if, if the you remember when the, they was crying out Hosanna? Right. And they tried to stop him, he said if they don't cry, the rocks will cry. I know he was talking about a stony heart, but right. just literally look at look at the rock. He can make a rock talk also. Yes, he can. If he's so, like when he was on the cross and the rock was torn, um, the, the 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 veil was torn from the top to the bottom, mm -hmm. from the from the bottom to the top. No, from the top to the bottom, mm -hmm. and and the earth Open was breaking. And the earth was breaking. So yeah, so so what I'm saying is, yeah, maybe once upon a time, not even once upon a time. I I can't even say that. I take that back because God always used women since since the beginning. Of man and woman. Because they try to use the woman as property. That's why they would have to have a diary in order to buy the mm -hmm. property. Because mm -hmm. they had to respect them. They were out of order. Because God made the woman to be a helpmeet to the man. Not a slave to the man. Mm -hmm. You know, not in bondage to a man. You know, but to be a helpmate. To be there. Just like he was talking about. How I may have the strength. But and I'm trying to knock open this door. And she may say, why don't you just try the hand? <laughs> And that's, why don't you? It's not, it's not. <laughs> and that's how well, I was a retired fireman. I was a lieutenant with the Philadelphia Fire Department. And sometimes the guys would come with the accurate and chop the door down. All See, you had to do, the door was already open. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was turn the knob. And sometimes that's what you need. You need that extra brain. And that's what the that's what a woman has. A woman think different from the man. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Oh. You know, God made us that way. So that the two can become one. And when we become the two become one, you know, it's easier to to, to, to bear the heat of the day. It's easier to make things work when the two become one. And what God has joined together, let no man put aside. And this is why God hates divorce. You know, because it's it, it, it breaks the order. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it breaks the order. Um, um, well, so you're so right, Bishop. Um, I was thinking about Deborah, right? She she was the mother in Israel. She judged Israel. She right. she told Israel. She prophesied. She was a prophet. She told Israel what thus said the Lord. God used her because of the heart that she had, the dedication that she had, the love that she had towards God, and God used this woman. So 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 don't. Don't come with that, you know, oh, you a woman and you, and, yeah, and, yeah, and sit on the other side of the church. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know what Bible you read and I don't know where you get that from, but a woman is, is um, can be a blessing just like a man can be. But let, let's don't even go there. I want to tell you about Deborah. You know how Deborah was? She yeah. was a mother in Israel. A mother in Israel. She judged the entire tribe of Israel when they was in bondage. Glory to God. She the one who got them out through the power of God, of course. But listen at this. And since you want to feel, maybe feel like a woman in second class, she sent for Barak and mm -hmm. told him that he had to go out 
to the battle to was, fight was that the Barack Obama? <laughs> No, it was, but his name was Barack. It, well, it made me think of uh, Barack Obama um, years ago when I, when he first became president. And he and she and Barack said to her, "Well, then you probably will pronounce it Barack, but it's spelled the same, I think." Mm -hmm. And she said to he said to her, "I'll go out to battle if you go with me." Go and with she you. said, "Surely I'll go with you." And who that sound like? That sound like the, the, the authority of God. That sound like God saying to Moses, "Moses, surely I will be with you. Yeah. Surely I will go out with you." You know. Uh, and, and I'm gonna put my words in, in your mouth. I'm gonna give you what to say. And when 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 she went out to the battle, but she told Barack, she said, "Listen, sis, um, is going to be given into the hands of a woman. The woman is going to get the glory." And guess what, y'all? She wasn't talking about herself. She was talking about a whole another woman. A whole woman. Hallelujah, glory to God. A little woman in, may be insignificant right. to to somebody else, you mm -hmm. know. And when 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 the, when, the, when the battle was fought, everybody got killed. Everybody, God fought that battle for for Israel. I'm telling, he's a battle axe. Yes, he is. is. And um and when when the king of Syria thought he was gonna get away, he ran to this woman house thinking that he was gonna rest his weary head. He told her, he said, listen, I want you to watch. I want you to watch and see if anybody come. And let me know if they come. And she, she laid him down. He said, I'm thirsty. Can you give me some water? And she gave him a, a bottle of milk. Mm -hmm. There's some significance into the, in that bottle of milk. Make a baby sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like food. Mm -hmm. And he slept so hard. He was sleeping so hard because of the battle he right. was in. And he, and, and he had to run. He had to get away. And when he got away, he thought he was running into a safe haven. Hallelujah, glory to God. He ran into a place that God said, wherever you go. We say, uh, what's, uh, what's his name? Uh, he said, I make my bed in hell, thou art there. I David, take the wings, the not David, the, the, the songster. The songster. David said it. Yeah, he did say it. And, um, and I, I, I think Joseph said it too, something like that. But anyway, if you if you go, God knows where you are. You can you can run, but okay, you can't yeah, hide, yeah, all right? And when 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 she when this is the glory of God, she took a spike from the tent mm -hmm. where the man was sleeping. Don't ask me how she got it out the ground. Don't ask me how big it was. She took that spike with a hammer and she went softly and took that nail and banged it into that to to the king of uh, skull. skull to the king of Syria. I mean, Canaan. Bang that. Um, that spike. spike into his head and pinned it to the ground. Come yeah. on. That was some kind of strength. You know why that I know that wasn't her strength? God gave it. God that was that was the Holy Ghost was in her using her to kill that king, to kill that evil, wicked king who thought he was going to run the army of God. Now that's two women. Deborah went out to battle. And then this woman who um I know her name is um uh, JL. Jael, she was she 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 was Jael another. Was right there, Deborah and Jael. Mm -hmm. And so 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 what happened was when they when when when, when she when they killed her, Deborah began to sing a song how how they had the victory, and they and she sang a song about how God brought them out. She began to praise them and they did bad, and how this woman, God used this woman to to um, honor him. So. Deborah and Jail. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So so it's like, okay, you so the okay, you men that that feel like maybe a woman is not significant at all. So a man couldn't get close to them. Wow, I didn't even think about that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I could this weak woman, what's she gonna do to uh -huh. you? Right, right, right. That's true. Not by might, no by power, but by my spirit says the Lord. That's just like Shenakarid. Mm -hmm. Um and remind me of Shenakarid and, and Putin and Trump and all them people that want to be dictators. Mm -hmm. And when Shenakarid was had, came against the army of Israel, he said, you don't mess with God's people. I don't right. care who you are. And he came against the army of Israel, and God killed all that whole army with one angel. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, he ran, yep. just like this other guy ran, mm -hmm. this other king. And when he ran... He went into the temple after. This is what cracks me up. I mean, you know how we say sometimes, 
Stanley Stink would have saw this or that, and they wouldn't have did it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, he ran into, after he saw his whole army slaughtered, mm -hmm. and Israel was, was, was standing strong, after he saw that, it seemed like he would have like, oh, your God is God. Right. But he ran into his temple and began to pray to his God, which was stone. And guess what? God sent his two sons, because nobody else could get close to him. That's the way I saw it. And they killed them. Mm -hmm. And when they killed them, they ran. And nobody chased them. It was like good for him. So all you men that think that you get in the way with, with your shenanigans, your deeds, with your wickedness, God got a plan for you. And, and, and God is a merciful God. He don't want to destroy nobody. He said it's not his will that any should be lost, but he will all come to the knowledge of the truth. But just because it's not his will, his will don't all the time be done. It's not he don't want to send you to hell, but we send ourselves for because of disobedience. Even when Israel was crazy going against them, when Moses was up in the in the, in the mountain, Israel was going against, they was partying, they build a calf, and it's this is the God that brought us out. God just brought them out 40, yep. 40 days ago. Yep. Through a Red Sea. And all the, 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 out the yeah, the, the different plagues that went through um, Egypt, brought them out, and then they decided to go against God. The problem with that, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say what I'm about to say, but maybe because a man was in charge. <laughs> yeah, Aaron didn't have the guts enough to say no. You know, we ain't going to do it. He paid fair for his life because they probably would have killed him too. Yeah. But but it, it's, like, it's like you... When, if you don't trust God enough, you will die. You have to trust God in, in your circumstance. But what I'm saying, I'm saying that men, don't 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 despise women. Don't don't push them to the side. Let God use them. If they, if they say God is calling them, let them use them. You had too many women in the Bible that was um that yeah. was great in God's sight. What about the woman that killed the king that threw the stone down? He said, you know, if somebody else killed me, so it won't be said that this woman killed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. she stole the stone down from the castle wall. It's, it's like people don't, men don't want to be, um, they don't they don't want a child to kill them, and they definitely don't want a woman <laughs> okay. to kill them. You know, they want to be, they want to die in battle free. And be, and you know, like they, the lady fought. I don't mind, that's honor and death, because I died in battle, you know. But you got to know that God is, is, it, it, there is neither male nor female, bond nor free, Greek nor Jew, all is one in Christ Jesus. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. And you can dispute it if you want, but it don't make a difference because it's written. So you pastors, women pastors, they encourage my first pastor when I first got saved was Gertrude Dickerson at 2027 Ridge Avenue. That was my first woman pastor. Then from there, my Second pastor was Elder Bertha Young. Oh, what's that? On oh, what? Levitt the Lehigh? Le 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 Huntington. Huntington. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Holy Trinity Church. Then my third pastor was overseer at Gracie Kelsey. Gracie Kelsey. Kelsey. Mm -hmm. In West Philly, 742 on North Brooklyn Street. So God used women. And my overseer, one of my overseers was Elder Lockwood. Cause they were able to nurture me. Was a me. woman. Was a, is a woman. Mm -hmm. Was a woman. She's dead now. A little lock would sound like a man most of the time. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, mm. she was, but you know, but think about strong. think about from where you came from. You, yeah. you, um, I had seen a movie one time and it was talking about how um, God appeared to this man as a as a woman because he was in need of a mother. Right. Not that because he God is a woman. There is no gender. God don't have no gender. Right. You know, but he. He's he's um who he's the supreme being. He is he is who he is. He's a God man. Is the spirit. He said, "Let us let us make man in our image and in our likeness." So we you know God made us in His image, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So he came to the man. Came to the man as a woman. And yeah, in 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 in, in this movie I was watching, and so he came to this man as a woman because he said he needed mother. God is your mother. Yeah, he's God a, is your yeah. father. He's a bridge he, over That's water. right. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's everything that you need. When yeah. Moses was in the mountain and he told him, he said, who should I say sent me? He said, tell him I am. I am sent me. That's I right. am that I am. Oh, I am everything you need. That's you right. know, and, and they don't know me by my name, but you tell them I am sent me. And God will use and send whoever. And sometimes women do stay
stay home and take care of the house and take care of the food and don't go out and work. And raise the children. Yeah, back, it's, it's back them days they were able to. It's like a hand in the glove. That's right. You know, and it's nothing wrong with you women if you don't want to work. Now in society today is trying to make women feel bad because they don't want to because they want to stay home with their family, want to raise their children, and. Is if you don't raise them like the world gonna raise them. Oh, and I know what I was gonna say about that. How you had all them women pastors. Mm -hmm. You and you was a man, a strong man, a man with um with a bad background. You know, a hoodlum um, running the streets of Philadelphia. You know, you know how you were. Yeah. You, if you you should have been in you should have been six feet under or in jail. But God had mercy on you because of the kind of life you were gang warring, shooting up and shooting people out, doing stupid stuff, just stupid, doing stupid yeah. stuff. Being a go for her. You know, I'll go for it. I, tell me yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Because you didn't have the you had a mother, but you didn't listen to her. You had a father. He but, wasn't a father. Well, he wasn't there like he should have been. Right. But one thing I do know, you needed those strong women in your life. That's what I did. As a man, not to disrespect them and right. say, the, uh, oh, they women. I ain't nobody listen to no woman. Because they tell you, they was teaching for a long time. A woman can't teach a man nothing. Right. A woman can't teach a man. But that's not true because guess who is the teacher? The power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. We are the teacher. Somebody said to me, um, this person can't counsel can't counsel um, would-be married people, people who are about to be married because they've never been married. What are they going to tell them? I say, but see, you got to remember who the counselor is. The wonderful counselor. Jesus. The Amen. Holy Ghost will counsel and give that person what to say. You can't, if you're looking at it on the natural, right. of course, you yeah. know, but let's just look at it, you know, in the spiritual because we are spiritual beings. You know, we're housing the body of flesh, but we are spiritual beings. So you have to look at it. Women can do whatever God allows them to do. Whatever they choose to do in God, God will let They can preach. They can pastor. They can teach. They can teach, you know. They can be judges of the Supreme Court. They, they can okay. fire chair down. Right. And look look at that. Look at Deborah. Yep, like a Deborah judge. In Deborah Israel. the judge. The mother of Israel. She judged that whole. They had to be about four million strong by that time. I'm they was it was a lot of them. They left out of Israel two million. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like okay, so so we so we believe in our heart of hearts that God needs women, and we want you to know that what, what Bishop is trying to teach us is that if you women read, take your place. And if you read <laughs> your Bible, that you will see. And that's not in the kitchen. That's yes. beside the man. Mm -hmm. We help us one of another. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's your place. Yeah, and so you know, uh, if you ain't help me, if I need, if I'm running short, um, and I'm not making enough money, she may go out and get an extra job. Mm, she may, but she, it's or still she might have already did that. Right, matter of fact, men. Let me tell you about men. It's about women today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here to tomorrow about men. <laughs> okay, I'll let it go. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm the spender. She's the saver. Uh -huh. Okay. Savior. Yeah, but but <laughs> seriously though, whoever whoever is, it the, could be the, a woman. The, the best balance. Yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one that should be it. Not because I'm the man and I make the money and yeah. it's my money and you wouldn't uh -uh. be right. It's because but these see we going off track again. Yeah. But still, it's it's all about how God used women just as well as the man. But I want to talk about two women before we close. Yeah, so we, we should be closing now. We should be closing now. But I want to talk about my mother was a great woman, is a great woman. She's passionate, 82 years old. She believed in what she believed. And she went through an abusive relationship with my dad. But she would always, when, 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 when we had to run for our lives, and she had to run for, our life, for her life, she never left us behind. She <laughs> always took us with her, you know. <laughs> we have your mom, mm -hmm. Mother Nubel, Marie Nubel, you had to run too. Because mm -hmm. we had we had they had terrible men talking mm -hmm. about strong men. She had sixteen children mm -hmm. and she raised them. Mm -hmm. You know, you think that the, the children would be just like my wife, they they, they love things decent and order. Mm -hmm. And basically that's how her children are. Mm -hmm. The same way Mother Nubel was. My wife says, Your your mother didn't teach you. <laughs> Don't tell, don't tell. <laughs> Your mother didn't teach you nothing, did no, you? I, I, I didn't mean it like that, Mom, if you're listening. <laughs> I, because you, I'm basically running the street. 
We were the streets. We were the streets. That's why I said you needed the woman figure in right. your life. You Ella Laughlin, Ella Ella um uh, Dickerson, Fast Dickerson, Ella Bertha, Ella Ella um what's her name? Um, Coulson. Uh, Colton, you needed them strong mm-hmm. women. They were strong women. They were strong women. And and overseer, they overseer Lockwood, Lockwood. overseer Colton. They yep. were overseers of men, and yep. so they they had to be strong. But the, this is the thing that they and never, never ever do. They never disrespected me as a man. No, they didn't. They never. If they did, I probably would have rose up and went got into your man's stupid attitude. Mm-hmm. But they always respected me. They seen that I I was a young man that needed to be. To, to, to be uh, mm-hmm. de- developed. See, a woman can't teach you how to be a man, but a woman can teach you how to be responsible. They can teach, a woman can teach you how to be respectful mm-hmm. to a woman. And they can t- give, teach, give you uh, a man to teach you how to be a man. Be a man. Man, man. Right. Because I can teach you how to be, I, can, I taught my son how to, like you said, respect women respect and stuff. Them, right. And, 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 and um, look, you know, don't, don't look down on them. Well, at least I did the best I could, but you had to teach them how to be men, 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 you know. And so, but that's all right. We we. So we have strong, we have strong women in our lives. Our mothers mm-hmm. naturally. We, we both have, have, we both had terrible fathers. And, right, and we and we had good spiritual mothers. Mm-hmm. You know, you had Aunt Bertha, you had um, Pastor Dickerson, mm-hmm. overseer Coulson. So you had good women in your life that mm-hmm. to help. To help mother us, to help us to get where we are today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to close this evening, but the next time we get together, we're going to talk about the next woman in the Bible, and her name is Sarah. Mm-hmm. You know, she she was okay. <laughs> 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 she, so you start me because we're going to be going. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll we, talk about her next. We're going to talk about her next time. Yeah, talk about her. You know, time. talk about Abraham. <laughs> talk about Ab- Abraham. Wife, mm-hmm. Sarah, Sarah, mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So we ask you to thank God for this opportunity to share His Word. Mm-hmm. May His Word find a resting place in our spirit, soul, and mind. May we be doers of God's Word and mm-hmm. not just hearers and talkers only. As I first said, we were supposed to do it yesterday, but we did it today. And Lord's will, we'll be back Saturday at 7 p.m. for Bishop Pointer and Sunday morning for Morning Glory. We're closed up right now in the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, God, that <laughs> you said it wasn't good for man to be alone. And we thank you, God, that you gave him a help me. Even though she was deceived, God, you can, you still had a plan in play. And that was Mary, the mother of Christ Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that Jesus was born of a woman. And he was born to take away the sins of this world. We thank you, Lord, God, that you saved us from a from a miserable life of sin, Lord, God, continue to bless and strengthen us and cause your grace to shine upon us. For we ask these blessings in Christ's name and for his grace we pray. Let the church say amen. Amen. May amen. the word of God penetrate your spirit, soul, and mind. And always remember that God loves you, mm-hmm. we love you, mm-hmm. and there's nothing that you can do about it. If you want to know about the plan of salvation, you can hit us up on Facebook or at bishop6332 at yahoo.com. What past the better at yahoo.com. Mm-hmm. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you as I pray. Be blessed. Blue Shallow.